Hiya! Welcome back to my channel again for another video. I will just say quickly to start this one. I'm still not feeling like 100% and I've still got quite bad cough and cold so if my voice sounds off at all or weird that would be why. But welcome back to another favourites video. I can't believe that we're pretty much at the end of February already. I swear January seemed to just go on forever. But February has just disappeared like that. I mean, I know it's technically shorter, but it's only got a few days. And we're at the end of the month already. So, of course, that means that I'm going to be doing another favourites video for you today. And I hope you enjoy. Surprise, surprise, of course, I have discovered some new, like, healthy kind of snacks that I'm loving at the moment. I feel like that's just become part of my monthly favourites. I have to mention some kind of healthy snacks that I've been loving because... I have done for the last, I can't even remember how many favourites videos, but I thought I would kickstart with those. So the first one I'm going to mention is the Perkia Cacao and Cashew Quinoa Bar. I've mentioned Perkia before because it's their goji and cranberry bar that I've tried before and really enjoyed it and I mentioned that, but this one I love even more. This one tastes so good if you like chocolate you'll definitely like this and it's got dates and things in there as well so it makes it really chewy so the texture of it is so great because it's like crunchy from the quinoa pieces but then and also of course from the cashew nuts but then it's like chewy and fudgy from the dates and has it got raisins in here as well I can't remember it might have raisins no I don't think it has got raisins but it's got a load of mixture of different seeds and things in here and it's all natural ingredients I also believe, I'm pretty sure it's, ve yeah, it's vegan as well, so these are a great snack just to have handy for on the go and just really tasty. The next healthy snack that I'm going to mention is the Aduna Cacao Energy Bar. I originally saw this on Naomi Smart's channel, she featured this in one of her What I Eat In A Day videos and it looked pretty tasty so I thought I'd give it a go. I thought it'd be kind of similar to the Naked Bar as it's made from like dates and nuts, very similar ingredients. However, this one's got walnuts in it and also cacao nibs, which gives it such a great texture because it's like chewy, but then also crunchy. And you also get like little chocolate chunks in these, which are so good, so tasty. Again, another really tasty snack to have. And it's a chocolatey flavour one again. So if you love chocolate, definitely check out this one as it feels like you're having like a little treat, but as well, you're kind of getting one of your five days by getting some fruit in as well. So these again are really tasty, and I believe, yet yeah, again, it's vegan, raw, and paleo. So it's very tasty. I will also just mention again by the same brand, the Aduna brand, the Baobab bar that they have as well is really tasty too. It's made with pineapple and I can't remember what other fruits it is. I don't have one left, I've eaten the ones that I've had, but they're really tasty, especially at the moment as I've been ill. They're really great to have because it's rich in vitamin C, so it's helped me to get a little extra immune system boost and help me recover a bit from my cold. So they're great food to have at this time of year as well. Keeps up your energy levels, a great tasty snack, and I know there's a lot of people who are sick at the moment with sort of flu and cold, so, great energy bar to have because it's a great source of vitamin C which really helps you out. My final sort of foodie favourite for this month isn't actually a snack or anything, this is so random, but it's actually roast veg. I know this is just like so random, but honestly, I swear any vegetable roasted tastes so much better and I've been loving it, especially for like lunch and things, just having big bowls of loads of roasted veg, so roast sweet potato, honestly, I couldn't get enough of that, just tastes incredible. And also roasted red peppers, I like fried up red peppers before and just had it raw, but I've never actually like properly roasted them and I can't even begin to describe the taste like when it's been roasted, it just tastes incredible. And also things like courgette or zucchini you might call it. And what other vegetables? I mean, for like roast dinners and stuff, roast carrots are always a winner. They're so much better than when they've just been boiled or raw carrots I just don't like. So yeah, I don't know. I just thought I would mention that because I've just been loving roasting stuff at the moment. It honestly tastes so much better when it's been roasted in the oven. Moving on from food related items, I'm actually going to move on to a beauty product. And right now I've been making great use of the Keratin Smooth Deep Smoothing Mask by Tresme as this I actually got for Christmas and I've been trying to give it a go, it's supposed to be 5 benefits, 1 system, so up to 72 hours of frizz control, perfectly detangles, silky shine, soft feel, 
and Tame's Flyaways. It's also got marula oil in there. I'm not 100% sure what marula oil does, but I'm guessing it adds to the softening effect. And you basically just use this in place of your normal conditioner once a week. And honestly, it does help to make your hair just feel so nourished and so soft and smooth. It's amazing. As soon as your hair dries, you can honestly just feel how soft and like good it feels. You basically put it on for around five minutes and yeah, then you just wash it off like you normally would with any conditioner. Definitely would recommend if you've got frizzy hair, if you've got dry hair, definitely worth checking out. Another thing I'm really liking right now is actually America's Next Top Model. I have been meaning to watch the season which was hosted by Rita Ora for ages. I mean it came out at the beginning of last year and since then I've been keep telling myself I'm going to watch it one day, I'm going to get around to it. I just literally never have until now and I watched that season, I recently finished it about a week or two ago maybe and I like I loved it it was great it was quite cool how there was someone different hosting it for us I mean uh, you can't like as such get a replacement for Tyra Banks because she's the creator of the show she's the original she like no one's gonna replace her as such but it was quite cool as well having a British host on there and it was quite funny because you could really hear the British accent as well then compared to when everyone else was speaking with an American accent but it was quite cool and I quite like that season as well it stopped for a couple of years, America's a top model I want to say and then it came back with Rita Ora and then now currently they're in the process of a new series with Tyra Banks again back as the host and I'm really enjoying that season as well at the moment so definitely check that out, it's still ongoing right now so go catch up with the episodes if you haven't yet seen it I used to love watching that show, I used to literally just sit and binge watch it all the time so I'm really happy that it's back on TV again and this next one is a bit random again but right now I've actually really been enjoying doing a jigsaw puzzle I bought this one on Amazon, it's a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle and when I was younger I used to love jigsaws and I haven't done one in years but I just love having like one on the go so when you're watching TV or when you've got a spare minute or you've just got a moment where you don't really have anything to do. It's just nice to sit down and do a bit of a jigsaw. I don't know, I find it really enjoyable and it's just quite a relaxing, calming activity to do. And I also bought a jigsaw puzzle mat to go along with it so that when you're in the process of doing it, you can then roll it up and it keeps all the jigsaw together so you can move it out of the way because I've been doing it on the main dining table so don't really want a jigsaw spread across the dining table when we're trying to eat and stuff. So that's like a really great invention that you can just keep it all as it is but then fold it away and then bring it out again when you want to do it and I've just really been enjoying it. I've been making fairly good progress on this, definitely nowhere near finishing yet. A thousand pieces is quite challenging but I have been really enjoying it so I just thought I would randomly mention that. I'll also leave a link to the puzzle mat down below in the description so you can go check that out and see what it is is exactly that I'm talking about. I ordered it originally from Amazon so I'll leave a link to that page down below in the description. My next favourite is just something that fits in with the colder kind of weather that we have at the moment. It's actually my, I don't know really what you would call this, it's like a snuggly poncho type thing. I honestly wear this so much, I wear it to death. I pretty much wear it every day. As soon as I get up, I whack this on. I wear it throughout the day even, not just on top of like my clothes when I'm staying at home and not doing anything. It's so comfy, so cozy. I've had this for actually about a year now, but I just thought I would mention it because I honestly just wear it so much. And if you've never seen one of these before, go get one. Also, it's great, it's got a pocket at the front here so if you're carrying lots of stuff or just to pop your phone in or something because when I'm at home I just like to wear like comfy leggings and stuff and I don't have any pockets so this provides a solution to that and it's just so comfy and cosy and with the weather just still being so like wintry and cold and horrible at the moment I thought I'd mention this because everyone needs to get one of these in their life for this time of year again I'll be sure to leave a link where you can get one down below in the description so those were all of my favorites for this month I do hope you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that big thumbs up if you did enjoy it Click the little red subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel, as well as clicking the notifications bell so that you're notified whenever I upload. And I will be sure to see you on Wednesday with a brand new video. Bye!